evolution beauties it is your girl evelyn and you're tuning into evolution dynasty today i'm going to be showing you how to achieve the senegalese twist hairstyle and please if you haven't done so already make sure you subscribe join the evolution team and i'm super excited guys so let's get started on this yes all right so jumping straight ahead i got the three times x expression meaning that is like three bundles in each pack it is pre-stretched, which is much easier on me, okay? Because I used to do that myself. I did purchase some jam, but this is not the jam that I wanted. I got rubber bands, some hair clips to separate your parts. Also, this tail comb is very important, guys, to define your, um, your parts. So make sure you do that and get that, sorry. And also, I got some scissors. I did get like a two-tone, like kind of like a burgundy on top and like a reddish on the bottom. Just to add a little, you know, spice it up a little bit. Summertime coming, so you know, spice it up. All right, so right here, I'm showing you that I already started doing the hair. I didn't want to show you like the whole process of doing each, you know, part of the head. Um, I wanted to get to the top so I can show you exactly. A lot of people have a problem with doing Senegalese twist because it's the twisting method that they don't know. I was just showing you the tips of the hair because I'm, I don't like the whole like straight look at the end sometimes i wanted to add like some curls so i was just showing you that i'm going to do something with that later on <laughs> so yeah so i'm just showing you a little bit how my hair is coming along i got to the top part and i'm like okay so right here is where i want to show what i'm doing how to do the twist and my hair at the tips is really really thick so i've been using this edge control so that way and i didn't i ran out of jam too so using that i'm able to wrap my hair and get it in place so that way it won't look so puffy at the ends when i'm you know putting the hair in so right here i'm just showing you how i'm going to part it and i use the brick method meaning that i don't part directly on the next part underneath um i do like I don't know it's, it's, it's called a brick method <laughs> so you know how bricks is like laid out and you kind of like you know don't lay it on the top of each other so that's probably pretty much what i'm doing and you will you will start to notice as you see me do it you will see that i don't lay the parts on top of each other so that way it can look more full a lot of um beauticians and stuff like that they use that method me doing my hair on myself I have certain imperfections, but for somebody who's doing their hair on themselves, listen, <laughs> I'll make it look as good as possible when it comes to parting. And I'm just making sure I get the parting good. I, guys, listen, I don't wear na nails usually. Since I've been doing YouTube videos, I'm like, I can't be having my nails looking busted. So I've been having nails on. So it's been a little bit of a challenge to do my hair with my nails, but I'm learning so i've been doing really really good with my you know nails on so so far but yeah i really could kill it and when it comes to not having my nails on versus when i do because as i'm parting it you can see that i'm having trouble because my nails is like grabbing some of the hair all right so right here i'm just showing you that i'm going to be putting in moisturizer guys it's important when you do a protective style moisturize your hair my hair is colored so I'm put, I am always add extra moisture. I put coconut oil because um, coconut oil really does keep my hair moisturized. And I feel like I have a lot of oils in my hair. Like for some reason, you know, when you color your hair, some of the, some of the coloring kind of like strips your hair. And my hair is not like bleached or anything like that. But I do still use some type of chemical. So it's very important to make sure you moisturize your hair and it's so crazy because i just now colored my hair probably like a couple weeks back no more than probably like three weeks and my my roots is already growing out so my hair grows pretty fast so um i'm gonna give it some time before i even think about coloring it again but yeah just moisturize it. i'm just showing you here i'm going to place the edge control on the edge of that once again i didn't have no more jam so i'm just using edge control and kind of like trying to slick down my edges a little bit before I start placing the hair in. Okay, so right here, you know, just using the comb, trying to get that little slick look in the front. 
And then right here, I'm just showing you how I, you know, separate the hair. I saw a bird, <laughs> guys, it's this is Saturday and I hear birds chirping and it's just it's so like beautiful outside. But unfortunately I was over here doing my hair, <laughs> but I did go out afterwards and enjoyed the weather. But yeah, so I split the hair. Once I grab the portion that I want, I do split it. And then I break it into two and then I wrap it just like this. And I put it like this in order to create a third strand when I put it in my hair. And I'm just showing you how I do it. Kind of make it uneven to kind of make the hair a little bit longer. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right here. And I'm showing you guys how I position it and how I hold it. So when I get ready to braid, I, I do the method of braiding at the root and then I begin to twist afterwards. Um, I find that method to be a little bit more easier. Yes, I can do the other method, but I feel like the other method unravels a little bit more faster and at the root, it won't look as tighter um, for me personally. You can do it the other way. Uh, maybe I'll do a video on how to do it that way, but this way works for me and it really does stay in a little bit longer. So right now I'm just beginning to braid. I'm just showing you how I attach the hair. And then you're gonna see how I begin to twist and things of that nature, okay? So I'm gonna let you continue to watch so you can see uh, what I do. And if you have any questions, always feel free to put it in the comment box below and I will try to either do another video and explain it more in detail or I will answer the question in the comment box below, okay? So right there, as you notice, I noticed that I made a mistake and I went back to correct it. So the method that you have to kind of get as you twisting the hair, you're twisting, uh, you're twisting both individual strand as well. So both parts that split in half, those two individual parts is being twisted as well, as well as you twisting them together, if that makes sense. It's really, it's hard to explain, but I'm trying to show you like what I'm talking about as far as, and I might try to slow it down so I can show you guys. Matter of fact, that's a good idea. <laughs> um, I might slow it down so I can show you guys how I'm doing it, how I'm twisting as I go along. So that way it could like it, it twists a little bit tighter when you do that method. And I'm just using the edge control to kind of slick my hair down. But as I'm twisting it around, I'm going to slow down right here, matter of fact. So you see how like I'm twisting the individual pieces. See, look, I'm showing you right here again. I'm twisting it and then I'm wrapping it, twisting it one away from the other one and the other one the other way and I'm twisting them and putting them together and that's what makes it stay in tight okay so I'm just trying to show you as best way as possible because that be the reason why some people feel like their hair unravels I'm sorry unravels is because of that that method needs to be done in order to keep your hair intact and then at the end what I do is I braid it just to keep the hair in place. But it's several different methods you can use, but this one works for me. My, my hands <laughs> was getting tired, but um, yeah, I've been doing this. And this is such an easy hairstyle. I feel like it's the next, next best thing close to 
doing braids braids take a little bit longer this i kid you not took me about five hours whereas braids will probably take you the same like length and size will probably take me a good like eight maybe ten hours to messing with the kids and stuff like that so yeah it's such an easy and quick hairstyle you'll be done before you know it because it's twisting it's just twisting basically and you go all the way down i feel like it moves a little bit faster so this is my definite go-to protective style when it comes to my um in my natural hair journey this is one hairstyle that you're probably going to see me wear a lot um, it's much easier it's much easier for me to manage versus you know any type of other hairstyle and it's easy to put in so continue to watch and you can see how I do the rest of them. And right here, I'm just showing you right here quickly how I stop it and how I start braiding just to keep the hair in place. All right, right here, I'm gonna do a little close up so that way you can see what exactly I'm doing. Let me try to see if I can get in here. My hand is in the way. Move hands. Yeah, my hand is really not lighting up, but you can see as I'm doing it, how I'm twisting it. So that's basically what you have to do in order to achieve the tightness and the twist. I hope that helped guys. <laughs> Um, I, I noticed that certain angles that I hold the camera, I've been trying to get the best lighting, the best spot to put cameras when I'm doing uh, filming my hair. It is a challenge. So I do apologize. I'll be trying to do the best that I can. I hope you can see real good and understand what I'm trying to do. And yeah, <laughs> that'd be my main concern. I'd be so worried like, oh my gosh, they may not be able to see this or Maybe I'm not explaining it right. So I go through all of that. So don't think that I'll be having all the answers because I don't. <laughs> I'm still fairly new at to recording while I'm doing my hair. But I'm getting better as time goes, you know, knowing to, um, knowing to get perfect lighting and knowing when to slow stuff down and stuff like that. So I'm getting better at it. I'll get better as time goes. So yeah. All right. So it's coming along. Just continue to watch and we'll see what's next.
like I said, guys, it was Saturday. I was turned up, but I was putting my mousse in my hair, you know, laying it down so that way I can put my scarf on. Let me just, <laughs> I was wilding on Saturday. I ain't even gonna hold you. So I continue to just saturate my hair with the mousse, make sure I get all the flyaways and stuff like that kind of down. And then you will see in the next clip, I'm going to put a scarf on my head. I was going in. I'm not going to lie. Look, <laughs> I don't know how to act, y'all. The 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 normal side of me, you know, the real side of me is coming out, y'all. Y'all going to see my, my, my whole personality. Y'all going to be like, I'm crazy. But you know what I'm saying? I had to. <laughs> Look, I don't know how to act. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah yes officially done i had so much fun i have a lot of fun doing my videos guys if you haven't noticed so i'm super excited to do this hairstyle if you have any questions make sure to put it in the comment box below also if you like the video give us a huge thumbs up and if you haven't done so already, join the Evolution team by hitting that red button, subscribe to my channel, share me out. I am on the road to 700 subscribers. So get us a stare, help us out, hello, all right? <laughs> all right, so I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Have a wonderful day. Later, Mwah.